What's up everybody? I'm Shane and welcome to New You. Public speaking, one of the things that makes more people scared of than death itself. Imagine that. More people are scared of dying than they are of speaking in public. So how do we fix that? How do we get over that fear? <laughs> well, lucky for you, I have a few tips. Okay, I get it. Public speaking is not easy. In fact, if I'm being honest, just talking to you guys on this camera, it makes me a little nervous. I mean, you can even see that my hands are starting to shake. Or maybe it's the 10 cups of coffee I had this morning. So how do we get over such a fear? A fear that makes even the bravest amongst us quiver in their boots. Well, just like anything. A little perseverance, a little determination, and a little something to drink. Tea. I'm talking about tea. It's, it's good for the throat when you speak. Okay, let's dive right in. The first thing is to remember, you will be a little nervous. And that's okay. You need to learn to use the nerves to your advantage. In fact, many professional speakers use their nerves as a way to drive and motivate themselves to give a much better presentation. Think about when you were doing sports as a kid. Now, it's down, the game is tied, time is running out, and what are you? You are nervous. Why? Because every second counts. Every second matters. So you use those nerves, and you push yourself, and you win! But Shane, my, my team lost. We didn't win. Okay, so maybe you lost. But with such tight circumstances and the situation that you were in, it made you perform way better than if you didn't have those nerves causing you to act in such a driving, determined manner. The second thing is to be prepared. You just need to practice, practice, practice. Practice in front of your friends, practice in front of your family, practice in front of your dog if you have to. All right, Fifi, let's take it from the top. Four score and 65 years, just keep practicing. You know it very well, practice again. You know it backwards and forwards, practice again, but do it standing on one leg. You can even go to a video camera, film yourself, play it back, and look at any spots that you might need to polish out, and then practice again. The more prepared you are, the better you can handle it when things go wrong. What? Go wrong? What do you mean go wrong? Yes, go wrong. Things can go wrong. And the more you practice, the better prepared you are for when things can and probably will go wrong. Tip three, speak about something you're passionate about. Something that really lights a fire in your soul. When you do this, it will be much easier to speak in front of an audience because you want to give them that message. You want to inform them about the very thing which you are passionate about. If you don't and you pick a topic that's only mediocre to you, you're not really going to want to have a reason to go on stage in the first place. And let's be honest, you'll be a little bit more entertaining if you're passionate about what you're talking about. What's up guys? Shane? Welcome to a new you. See what I mean? Tip number four. Pay more attention to what you're speaking and your material than you do to your audience. Now I'm not saying ignore your audience, but I am saying that when you are up front of an audience, you need to focus on what's coming out of your mouth. You need to pay attention of the words that are flowing forth. If you focus on the audience and are more concerned about what they think of you and what they're may be judging you, you're going to have a much harder time conveying your message. But if you focus on what you're trying to get across and what you have written down in the first place, I promise you, it will be much easier to get that message out. And you can worry about their judgments after. Tip five, get the blood flowing. Do something like a few jumping jacks, maybe a couple push-ups, or maybe even a brisk little walk. Something that really gets the heart rate up. But don't do anything that's too strenuous because that 
can cause you to be out of breath before going on stage. But by raising your heart rate, you will be able to do two things. One, it gets you energy, it gets you motivation, and it gets you drive to want to go on stage and be able to push forward. And by doing these activities, it actually gets you to take your mind off of the speech just for a little bit. So you're not constantly worried about what you're gonna say or your next point. By having a few moments to let your brain relax, you will be much more in control of the situation. Tip number six is to focus on why you are doing this in the first place. If you are doing this for a good grade or because you're trying to promote a good cause, use that to your advantage. Use the reason that you are in front of the audience or in front of the camera in the first place, use that as your motivation to push past any mental barriers that you still might have lingering around in the back of your mind. If you have a clear-cut reason as to why you're doing this in the first place, your focus, your words, will be much more easy to understand, they will be much easier to get out in a way that is relatable to your audience. Tip seven, be you, be yourself. If you try and be somebody else, instead of being yourself in front of an audience, in front of a camera, it's gonna be much harder for your audience to connect with you. Too many people spend their time trying to embody so-and-so or that speaker over there really does this great. And that's fine. And there's certain lessons you can take from them. But at the end of the day, people want to come hear you. That's why they're there in the first place because they wanna hear and see you, not that other speaker. So by being yourself, that is the only way you can give them a speech that will blow them out of the water. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more content, like if you enjoyed this video, and maybe consider sharing it to somebody who could use advice such as this. And as always, remember, you have what it takes.